Two-stroke touring day ever made. Complete fuel system. Carbs are rebuilt. Um, boiled out and rebuilt. Uh, the tank took forever to get it cleaned out. It's all cleaned out. Got an inline fuel filter that goes down to 12 microns. It, it says water won't go through it. So that I like. Uh, uh, the exhaust baffles are all cleaned out. Gearbox oil change, complete cooling system's been gone through with all new hoses, uh, thermostat gasket, water pump cover gasket. Well, I cleaned all this up. It was chipped up and painted, and I just cleaned that up and redid that. Then I did both the did all the hydraulics on the front brakes. Uh, didn't have to rebuild this; just cleaned it out. And I had to rebuild both calipers. They'd had some moisture and water got them and pitted out the, the pistons, so I had to put all new uh, pistons as well in. Those kits were pretty expensive for the two of them, about 127 bucks for the boat there. But uh, I was amazed, the cooling system inside when I drained it, it was clean as a bell. So when I took everything off to check it, clean it out, everything was real clean. Um, Trying to think of what all else I did do. Oh, the oil pump. I went through it, put new uh, a new gasket in it. New it, it, it mounts on a little distributor plate with six lines that comes off of it. Two lines to each cylinder, one to a cylinder and one to the crankcase. So I put all new O-rings around the base of that where it mounts. Went through that. Uh, let's see what else did we do? I had to replace a couple of bulbs, but I had. Uh, borrowed those for the H2, so it <laughs> wasn't the bike's fault. But uh, all the electrics work on it, amazingly. Got a little rust here and there. Got a brand new air filter. It was, it's a foam, kind of an oval that fits over the thing. And the air filter itself, when I took it apart, was just disintegrated. It just fell to pieces. Got a new air filter. Brake lines are great. Chains are all adjusted and greased. Uh, I'm trying to think. Of. Yes, basically. Oh, it's got a brand new battery. A nice Motobat battery. Those uh, glass packed ones, you know. Right. Oh, I had to, these were rotted away, and this was busted to pieces. So I got a new cap, new one of those, and there's a little reservoir tank that catches the overflow. It's a little over overflow tank down in there. The strap was gone on it, so I replaced that little strap down in there too. Cap was good. The thermostat was operating, so wasn't any point in replacing those things. Kind of funny how where they hide that in <laughs> Alright, so the Suzuki GT750. Liquid cooled, two stroke. Three cylinder. Three -cylinder. What year is it? 75. 1975. That is a unique bike. That is a beautiful piece of work. It's fun to ride. I got mud on it. I had it nice and clean before I left home. <laughs> well, what do you expect? And what's your name, sir? My name, sir? Bobby Neal. What's left of him? <laughs> After all these years. I hear you. All right. Thanks for uh, talking to us about your bike. Sure. Is that the original tire? I don't think so. I think what happened is because it's got like 96, 63 when I got it. Well, maybe I should correct that question. Is that a, is that a tire of the era? I think so. Okay. Yeah. And probably what the guy did was put tires on it and then pretty much parked it. I don't think he rode it much after he 
Yokohamas. <laughs> you don't see those anymore. Mm -mm. That's what they used to put on Yamahas and these guys back in the day. It's probably like the original tire. I imagine that's what came on. I was trying to think of what the name of it was that was originally on my H2. Hey, Steve, what was the name of those tires that was on the H2 originally? They weren't Yokohamas. They were something. Bridgestones. A what? I think they were Bridgestones. No, that's not what was on mine. That was something else. Beautiful right here. It's just. This is just beautiful right here. It looks like it just. Uh, got replaced or cleaned or what's that the, the uh chain guard the rear um sprocket the what the rear sprocket it, it's, oh yeah it's, it's, well i cleaned it up before i left the house actually <laughs> it's pretty nasty it's got the same size hands. amazing what purple power will do <laughs> pretty good stuff just don't leave it sitting there long. That's a fun old bike. It's so different from the H2. Kind of sneaky suspicion it's going to get a little better mileage. Hope so. H2 only gets about 21, 22 miles a gallon. That's a, it's thirsty all the time. Same thing for the new H2. <laughs> oh yeah. Was it that way too? Actually, oh, it was Sunday. Well, we went out partying Saturday night. We went for a real.